hey guys this is your girl alicia pink and welcome back to my channel but if you are new here welcome to my channel so um we are going to get into it guys we are going to uh do a tarot card reading like i said i was going to do if you saw um the unboxing of this tarot card the true heart intuitive tarot i said i might give you guys a reading so i'm going to do that i'm going to give a reading for all zodiac signs um and it's going to be like what's the week ahead ahead of the week you know starting today tuesday the 20th all the way to tuesday the 27th of october what's the week is going to be ahead what we can look out for what's the energy that's going to be surrounding us you know so i'm going to do that reading with my new deck okay so we are going to get started hello libras and welcome to your reading so libra libra it was just um a full moon and i mean not a full moon a new moon and libra not too long ago so i hope you guys celebrated your full your new moon and you manifested some good stuff so i'm just going to touch um shuffle and action the guides spirit guides and angels ancestors to give me an accurate reading on the libra what libra what libra can expect for the week of October the 20th through October the 27th also it is a full moon this Saturday so what also messages and energy is going to be surrounding us for our Libra for the full moon as well um yeah oh god all these cards are coming out all these cards are coming out wow okay Queen of Swords is showing up in everybody reading, y'all. Everybody reading. That's crazy. Everybody reading. Okay. Queen of Wands. You got Queen of Wands as well. I don't know. All the things I fall on the floor and I'm not getting. Oh, right. And you also have Eight of Disc. Eight of Disc. I'm loving this so far. Okay. So, you have the... The Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Eight of Discs. Okay, so I'm just going to go with Queen of Swords because <laughs> the first note is that she's basically in everybody's reading. She's in everybody's reading and she is just trying to give y'all, she's going to come come with the message, um, a sharp tongue. You're probably not going to like what she got to say. But you need to hear it, Libra. This is your card. You're probably in your feelings, in your head, in the clouds. You know, then you have the two of swords as well. So you probably have to make a decision, but you don't know what to make, what type of decision to make. You know, um, like I said, the five of cups, you and your you probably in your feelings. Um, you're not probably in your feelings you don't know what's going on you not feeling grateful you're not showing gratitude you need to show some gratitude gratitude is the best attitude and once you show that gratitude um libra look at all the abundance just look the ten of cups just look it is waiting for you okay that family that you've been manifesting that home you've been manifesting that career you've been man it's going to come because look look the end this you've been working hard you've been building you've been creating you've been creating okay and then you have the queen of wands that's ready to give you all that passion and that love and that fire and that energy you know the like yes when you finally do the work when you finally manifest what you want you're going to be doing that queen of wands energy for sure you know people are going to gravitate to you want to feel your energy and just love on you because they they just gonna yeah it's like wow you've come, come a long way you 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 was just like this not too long ago now you like this okay <laughs> so let's get um clarification for the last three cards for the five of cups what 
what message what energy what clarification that um libra need why are you in any feelings why libra in any feelings what's going on what was the clarification that libra needs okay you got the page of swords mm. page of swords been in a lot of people readings too so the page Words. Maybe you're feeling a little immature, lady. Yes, you are in the clouds. You are in your feelings, Libra. Are you, um, you got some things going on? Like, are you, are you handling the situation that you're in immaturely? Are you, like, overthinking it? Are you overly thinking it in, in your feelings in the clouds? Are you... you, you are you doing the right, the right things? Like, are you, like whatever you're going through are you are you doing it childishly like are you um or somebody else is in your life that's out here doing childish things that's like making you feel some type of way i don't know or maybe you feel emotional about a child that's in your life i don't know i don't know about that you feel maybe you feel a little bit emotions about a child that's in your life maybe a daughter maybe a son maybe a niece i don't know but let's get clarification for the queen of wands the queen of wands um clarification the energy around the queen of wands for oh my god my phone cut off i am so over this okay so libra we are on Libra. Okay, so I'm going to get clarification for the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Disc. See um, what energy, what do you have to do? When is your Queen of Wands? When is the Queen of Wands energy is going to be coming in? What do you have to do to get into that Queen of Wands energy? What do you have to do to get into that Queen of Wands energy? Okay. Wow, you got the Ace of Cups. So, oh wait, you got another Major Arcana card. No, not as not. This is not a Major Arcana card. What I'm talking about. You have the Ace of Cups. So, Spirit probably wants to hand you something. Wants to hand you, you know, wants you to manage your emotions. Wants you, you know, to, uh, you know, like your cup will be overflowing with love and care and, and abundance. Okay, and so clarify Ace of Cups. I'm gonna get clarification for Ace of Cups. What what clarification for Ace of Cups, Libra? What clarification that Libra needs to know for this Ace of Cups? Okay, oh, you got the seven of cups. So that means you're going to have some options. Some options, Leah, but be careful. Be careful, Libra. You're gonna have some options, you know. Yeah, options, abundance. Once you get into this Queen of Wands energy, you're gonna have nothing but options. Nothing but options. Okay, so what is the clarification for eight of this? Libra needs to know. Clarification for eight of this. What clarification? Eight of oh the star. Oh wow, this is beautiful. You're going to have that star energy. Once you start um, building up your your wealth, building up your manifestations, the star, a star will be born. You are the star, baby. You are the star. Once you get out of those emotions, that emotions, whatever's going on, once you make that decision, so, once you make that decision, um, Libra. Oh God, something fell. Once you make that decision, Libra, and you you want to have your options, because Spirit wants you to make a decision. Once you finally make your decision, you will have that Queen of Wands energy going on for you. You know, because you are the star. It's nothing but abundance. Just look. You are the star, you know, you have, once you build, once you keep working at what you're working on, working on what you're trying to manifest, this is beautiful, okay? And that's your reading, guys. I hope you like it, Libra. I liked it. I thought it was beautiful. You have a lot of beautiful cards. You have a lot of options, a lot of options, a lot of abundance going on you just have to 
get out of your own way okay so we got some affirmation cards for you guys so this is the i am everything affirmation cards and we're going to use these cards um, for some affirmations that we can use for this week also for the full moon that is coming um what affirmations can we say this week for the week okay all right so we got I am transformed, I am focused, I am connected, okay? I see beauty, I see the beauty of change. Everything I have been through transform me into who I am today. Confirmation, I am so much braver, I am so much more caring, I am so much more emotional intelligent, I am so much more open, I will continue changing and improving, I am transformed, okay? I am focused. I am focused on achieving my goals through deliberate actions. I take time to feel how it would feel to achieve my dreams. I visualize my desires through a lens of love and happiness. I am focused. I am connected. I have more in common with others than I realize. I seek um, communality with people rather than focusing on outward differences i am connected and we're going to get three more affirmations for you libra three more affirmations okay one two more affirmations for you libra two more two more one more okay all right all right so you have, I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Yes, we are all humans. We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. Remember that Libra, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. A spiritual being having a human experience. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. You get what you manifest, period. Whether it's good or bad, the law of attraction is always working. Joy is the ultimate creator. Yes, joy is the ultimate creator. When you are on source energy of joy, happiness, and peace, you are most definitely creating a good, abundant life for yourself. Your reading was very abundant. All you have to do is make the choice, make that decision. Whatever you're trying to do, make that decision. You have so much many options available for you so much abundance waiting for you libra so yeah this is your reading i hope you connected with it and i hope it resonated with you and i'm going to move over to the next sign so, yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you uh subscribe comment down below share whatever you need to do I had so much fun reading with you guys and yeah, I'll check you out in the next video.